It's 8.26 now. now. A dog lover from Essex has created body armour to protect smaller dogs from being mauled by bigger dogs. Bradley Davis um, is here with his wife Rachel and Puggle Tilly. Hello, morning to you. Morning. Hello. Let, first of all, Puggle. What's a Puggle? She's um, a Pug Beagle Cross. A Pug Beagle Cross. She's currently yeah. languishing she in, in her pink body armour uh, on a chair. She's taken over. Very chilled out. She's very chilled out. She is. She's turned very diverish, I'm afraid. Oh, so I do <laughs> apologise in advance. <laughs> two hours in makeup. <laughs> exactly. Bradley, why? Why did you do this? Um, well, basically, whenever we went over the parks or walked down the lanes, we were really worried about bigger dogs coming up. Um, you know, and connects quite aggressively. It's not just bigger dogs, littler dogs can as well. Um, but I, I kind of was thinking about it, but it wasn't until Rachel sort of see, was watching Towie, The Only Way is Essex, and oh, yeah. uh, she called me in and said, look, you've got to see this, Bobby Norris um, literally is in bitters. He's, um, one of the, he's one of the stars of Towie. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. Um, he was over the park with his dog, uh, bigger dog come up, grabbed it and killed it. Um, really? Yeah, he was absolutely devastated. And... That was it. I said, right, that's it. You know, there's no way we can have that happen to Tilly. I'm, I'm going to come up with something to protect her. So I went out in the garage like I normally do in <laughs> Bending um, and come out with a jacket that was um, made with armour. Um, basically, inside the jacket is military grade um, material. You had that in your garage? No, I always <laughs> did. I always did. Surprise me. <laughs> I've got everything in that garage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go in there. We need, yeah. to, do, we need to do an outside broadcast from the garage. I oh, know. So, uh, I mean, I've got different fabrics from all over the place. Um, eventually, I found a fabric that, um, to test it out, I, I literally put some nails in some wood, put a jacket together, and then drove. Rachel's car over it just in case it did My burst the tyres. Yeah. <laughs> Your tire. car, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I see that. My <laughs> tyres are dearer. <laughs> um, so yeah, and and it withstand withstood that. Actually, this 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 one it's here is the jacket. This okay. is just a, a sample jacket that I run over with a car and the nails, and you see from the inside. It's not gone through it at all. It hasn't. So this is pretty lightweight, but it does mm. also feel yep. robust. Absolutely. That's the finished article. Okay. So that's the finished product. Um, on You've the even got like a breather, breathable fabric underneath. That's right. Yeah. yeah, which you can soak in the summer and it allows your dog to cool down and in the winter keeps it warm. So it's a waterproof um, outside covering so they can get muddy in it. Mm. Um, but ultimately it's to protect them when you're walking down lanes or over parks are there, are there enough of those kind of incidents to warrant, you know, yeah. Yeah, quite a surprised. drastic step by a dog owner, isn't it? But the problem is, is there isn't actually a law that says mm. that you can prosecute someone if your dog gets attacked by another dog. The law just states that if a dog behaves badly towards you, yeah, or your dog, then you could possibly prosecute and say that person didn't have control of that dog and it could have harmed you. But, but actually, the going down the road of legal action, if your dog right. has been injured or killed... That's the last of your worries. Yeah. yeah. You, you just want to get your dog out of that situation. For us, with doggy armour, the idea is if your dog's in a situation, the worst thing you can do is go sticking your arms in there, trying to get that dog off. You need some vital time to be able to look at the situation, work out how you can get your dog out of that situation and away from it. And obviously that's why there's doggy armour, because that gives you that vital time. So how did she react, Rachel, when you first put Tilly in this little coat? Because, you know, it's, as I said, lightweight, it's quite stylish for Essex. Yeah, well, this is it. She loves a bit of Essex. <laughs> um, do you know what? She she doesn't mind. I mean, she's quite an easygoing little dog anyway. But when she puts the coat on, she knows she's going for a walk. Well, she's, so. she's all right at this time of year. Uh, you know, it's a bit nippy outside at the moment. But yeah. what about this in the middle of August? It's right, boiling. Yeah. 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 If, you, if you get that one, oh, no. just the finished on velcro. And the velcro. Look at that. You'll feel the inside fabric is a, a special fabric that you can actually moisture in the summer. So it allows to be a cooling jacket as well. It's breathable, isn't it? Yeah, it's fully, fully breathable. breathable. This feels like an awful lot of effort. It is a lot of effort. But you know what? People, it's worth people it. People love people their do, dogs. They, you know, they, they want their you know? dogs to be oh, protected, yeah. don't they? So we know really somebody, great. let's not forget Chris Warburton, a couple of weeks ago we were discussing he'd spent some £55 on a jacket for his dog from a certain brand. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. That's, true. Yeah. That's, true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, older, larger and medium-sized dogs also get attacked by other dogs, of course. Is this just for small dogs? No. no. We, we can manufacture it to any size required. Um, the only reason we, we tend to make them for the smaller dogs is because it is the smaller dogs that tend to get more attacked. Mm. That doesn't mean to say the, the bigger ones don't buy the small ones, but 
it tends to be the ones that get killed tend to be the smaller dogs because they tend to get them on the back or neck. Um, it is a, there's also armour in the neck as well, so it protects their neck. It's up to that. Th yeah. th this feels exactly... I could see a pitch on Dragon's Den for this. You know, I could <laughs> see you two with this presenting you two. Have you had much interest? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, we have. We have. <laughs> Do you know, we've, we've, sold, like the honesty. <laughs> no, we've we, sold a few. Yeah. Uh, we only launched two weeks ago. Okay, so it's early. So literally, yeah. this is just hot off the press almost. Yeah, so. well, literally Friday, it went from nothing to just... It's got we back. was just in the papers. You've got to get in that garage quick. Well, Rachel yeah. said to me... <laughs> Please. She goes to me, look, you know, how, how much material have you got? Have you got enough to make the jackets when we start getting the orders? I said, well, I've got enough to make three. <laughs> so, so I've, I've had to quickly get an import from China of the, of the fabric, and um, yes, yeah, so I've got to wait for that. And, and I, like, I, like, I like the logo because yeah. there's Tilly in a yeah. kind of cartoon form. That's I it. think you've captured her very well there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great yeah. stuff. Well, good She's, luck look with it. At her. Thank you. She's actually resting her chin on the on the seat arm. Mm. Yeah. I've never very chill that dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly, thank you. Bradley and Rachel, thank you very much indeed as well. I do